Before you ride, perform the pre-ride inspection as described in the owner's manual. Read, understand, and follow all of the instructions, warnings, and safety precautions in the owner's manual and on all product labels. Failure to do so could result in serious injury or death. Before beginning, ensure the vehicle is on a flat level surface. Visually inspect the vehicle looking for debris, loose fasteners, leaks, and worn components that may impair the vehicle's operation. Then, turn the two quarter turn latches on the grill to inspect the radiator area for the accumulation of debris, which can cause the engine to overheat, and clean any debris that is found. Next, check the condition of the tires, looking for any sign of punctures or damage, and inspect the tread depth. Also, check the tire pressures and verify that they are set to specification. Reference your owner's manual or tire pressure label on your vehicle for the correct specs. Inspect the front and rear suspension for leaks, debris, and damage. Then, move to the brake pads and rotors, looking for corrosion, nicks, and burrs. Next, on XP models, open the cargo box to inspect the upper air intake ducts on both sides of the vehicle. Then, inspect the engine area for debris. Continue by inspecting the coolant level in the pressurized coolant reservoir just behind the driver's side cabin. Add coolant as needed by removing the reservoir cap. Never remove this cap if the engine is warm or hot. Next, locate the dipstick in the passenger rear wheel well and wipe away any dirt or debris. Then, remove the oil dipstick and wipe with a clean shop towel. Reinstall the oil dipstick fully and remove it again to inspect the oil level. Add the recommended oil as needed. Do not overfill. Then, lower the cargo box and ensure the latch is engaged. Continue by ensuring the tailgate opens and closes properly. Next, grease the grease zerk on the center prop shaft yoke. This can be accessed through a hole in the skid plate. Then, inspect the brake reservoir underneath the driver's side front fender for proper fluid level. Add fluid as needed. A flashlight can be used to illuminate the reservoir in dark areas. Next, move to the rear of the vehicle to clean the spark arrester. Allow the vehicle to cool completely before performing any spark arrester maintenance. Begin by removing the spark arrester fastener. Then, carefully pull the spark arrester out of the exhaust. Inspect the screen for wear or damage and replace if necessary. Then, reinstall the spark arrester into the exhaust and align the mounting hole. Reinstall the spark arrester fastener and torque to specification. Next, verify proper operation of the door latches. Then, check the condition and function of the seat belts. Push the latch plate into the buckle until it clicks and ensure it is secure. Then, push the release latch and ensure it releases freely. Then, pull each seat belt completely out and inspect the full length for cuts, wear, fraying, stiffness, or damage. If necessary, clean any dirt or debris from the seat belts by sponging the straps with mild soap and water. Rinse after cleaning. Do not use bleach, dye, or household detergents. The refractor and latch housings should be flushed out regularly to ensure proper operation. Always wear a seat belt when riding. The vehicle will limit speed if the driver's seat belt buckle is not latched. Next, turn the key on and inspect the fuel level, ensuring there is enough for your trip. Then, verify proper operation of the headlights 
tail lights, and brake lights. Continue by checking the steering system for smooth operation from full left to full right. Verify proper brake and accelerator pedal movement, taking note of any binding or sticking. Start the engine and verify there are no warning lights illuminated. Lastly, always practice safe riding by wearing the required safety gear listed in your owner's manual. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit polaris.com.